Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number 14 of this Let's Play uh, Total War Three Kingdoms as Gong Du campaign. Uh, where we left off last time, we uh, turned the tables on the looters a little bit. We have armies now, full armies, uh, moving towards their provinces, beating their armies, and we are uh, finally looking towards uh, potentially taking back these lands in the north. Uh, what could be, you know, another four uh, provinces, also completing two commanderies there. So something that's something we definitely want to uh, get on top of. Uh, so that's, yeah, army number one is here in um, Shuofeng. Uh, it has um, a little bit of replenishment left to do, but nothing too major. So we can actually definitely uh, start moving this guy towards the city. They'll still be in our territory um, at this turn. Uh, so they will still get the replenishment in, and it should be a pretty much full force. Everyone just needs one turn left of replenishment uh, here as we go in to recapture the city, although there is no garrison and the city's level zero, so um, it, we should just be able to walk in and take it. There won't be a battle there. And yeah, we got the uh, yellow turban archer uh, unit here. So this army has a ton of archers units. Um, we can swap out these two archer units, but I don't you know, uh, think that's wholly necessary. Come for the time. We actually, we got a couple turns here for that cavalry to replenish, but that's okay. Next, yeah, we have our army here, led by Zheng Kai. Um, this is also... No, no, this army should be led by Gong Du. Yeah, Gong Du was injured, and when he was injured, the game, I think, automatically swipped it, uh, swapped him out of uh, out of command, but now, unable to swap when the army has an ongoing move order. Okay, so let's... Let's stop that. Yeah, you will be appointed commanding general. Yeah, this is Gong Du's army. This is our leader's army with uh, Zhang Kai. And this force is moving up here to deal with Liu Yan. Um, and as you can see here on the diplomacy screen, sort of this is this front over here. We, want, we have one army in the south. We'll have another army here in the north. Um, so that's the plan Yeah, the, for, for this force. So we will make our way this direction. Maybe we'll take and capture this pass. Uh, province in the process uh, as we go by. That's currently, you know, unoccupied, but um, yeah, we'll see when we get there. Finally, we have our army in the south. Uh, yes, we have, uh, unfortunately, he is injured um, currently, so Huang Xiao uh, is currently in command of this army, and we just took the uh, settlements here, uh, Shenyang, uh, and it has uh, two provinces, two, uh, yeah, provinces that are part of the commandery. Um, the Weapons Craftsman and the Lumberyard, uh, both of which are Han Empire provinces. So, we snuck in and got this before Liu Bao's army could. And now, I mean, if we wanted to get over here, oh, that's quite a walk around. So I think we're just going to have to commit to, unfortunately, the um, Weapons Craftsman is not uh, is not going to be ours. We just uh, won't be able to get it, but we will definitely be able to go get this Lumberyard. Um, and we can we can go ahead and do that. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting without he, um, but this is just a small garrison, so it's gonna be a piece of cake, and that's not a that's not too big a deal. Into the battle, we go. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about this force. I mean, frankly, you know, I'll just uh, take my archers that can um, hit fire arrows here. I mean, I, I don't want to lose troops unnecessarily. Um, you know, right here we do have the intersection of a lot of different towers, so actually maybe why don't we, why don't we go and take this one, yeah, these towers here, if we advance from this direction, uh, we will be clear of those towers, <clears throat> so, yeah, so we'll do that. Yeah, see, those towers fire that way, so if I, I can move into the stretch here, um, pretty easily. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We can go up to speed three. But our archers form up in front and then move together, please. The rest of the archers, yeah, these guys don't have fire arrows, but that's okay. You guys move up as well. And if this force is ready, I want you to move up to this hill here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pull back. They are actually advancing out towards me. Uh, very unexpected move on their part. So let's go ahead and we will actually just set up the front line, and let's set up my archers behind it, and we'll take my two generals, well that's actually a sword infantry, two generals and uh, two cavalry units here, pull out to the flank, yeah, everyone's moving into position, 
yeah, it's kind of uh, making the archers not really be able to fire because all the infantry is moving through them. But that's it's okay. Generals, why don't you? We'll just go use you. Why don't you go take out the archers that are back there? Yeah, all of my men here should be on fire at will. And why don't we take these guys here? And let's extend the line out. Yeah, there we go. My archers are now firing. A comrade is being attacked. Which is good. And yeah, generals, you can go that way. Cavalry, you can go take out the archers yourselves. Yeah, well, there we go. These guys are these guys are to engage the front line. That's fine with me. Should be a nice little easy surrounding action here. Generals are coming in to support, and uh, yeah, I don't expect them to to be able to do too much more on their own. All my archers are hitting this uh, G infantry out here. Yeah, these guys are routing already. Uh, piece of cake. No, come on, Cap. Don't let the... Uh, yeah, they, they lost sight of the archers. There we go. I was going to say, don't let these guys catch them. Uh, generals. Yeah, let's go take out that last archers unit. This should be, uh, this should be nice and quick here, though. There we go. Victory... Pretty minimal losses. I mean, not, they, them leaving the safety of their towers made it quite an easy fights for uh, for my side. Cool. So we got a uh, quick and easy province right there. A um, little bit of money, not that much. And uh, you know, it's it's unfortunate that it's going to really be kind of a process to finish this commandery because this is such a this mountain range divides the commandery, which doesn't really make sense. You'd think in real life the commandery would not span over a mountain range that's impassable like this, but that's okay. Um, so we will have two of the three provinces in this commandery. Uh, the Han Empire will kind of be holding on to this third one. That is fine. Um, yeah, Liu Yan over here is definitely someone I would like to take out as well. What do we got? Friends. He Yi and Zidang, and Huang Shou and Zidang. Alright, so Huang Shou and Zidang. So Zidang, you are friends with both other generals in the army, which is great. Uh, and this army, yes, you will stay in the settlement for winter and then we will begin, uh, we will march them as well up this direction, and, and you can cycle through, I think, this whole section over here. Hopefully, it's just kind of Han Empire provinces, so we'll see uh, if we can, what we can do with them, uh, if we can maybe take them out or not. Um, I do have some money to spend. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of notifications of buildings can be built in commanderies. Um, so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go through some of these commanderies here. I mean, Hidong, you know, again, like, this, this building is super cheap and super uh, beneficial, gives a lot of extra money. Um, public order is decreasing here, uh, because, because of population and really no positive effects. Um, is public order decreasing anywhere else? Uh, just in, uh, Zhihi, which is also a relatively new, um, province faction support, yeah, is, is definitely still taking its toll a little bit. Um, and here, yeah, we have the research rate building, which I would also love to, to continue building up. Um, because, yeah, research, my research rate is a little bit tough. So we'll do that. I think we'll we'll go ahead and do this income one, and uh, yeah, that that takes care of my money. So nice and uh, nice and quick and easy. But we will be taking that settlement next turn. Uh, reforms. We are currently have nine turns left and rally noble sympathizers. And um, yeah, let's let's go to the next turn and let's see how it goes. All right. Anything surprising gonna happen here? Let's see. We got. She's still moving her army back to her capital, that's fine. Liu Bao moving the army back. Tao Ying uh, decided to declare war on me. Again, I don't know who this is, but okay, another war. AIs definitely had a couple random AIs have been declaring war on me. Um, we'll see where that guy is in the diplomacy screen at the end of this turn. Looters, the screen started to move, but Tao Ying declared war on Gongdu. Unnecessary delays in Ji He. Aww. That's too bad. For how many turns? Five turns? Alright, well, at least we got this building in when we did. One more turn for that building, and then um, we just won't build there for a little bit. Assignments. Um, Tan Yu is done with his assignments. Okay. So we have an open assignment slot. Character developments. Ready for duty. He Yi is back. And buildings. Yeah, we got a charm maker's workshop. Barracks for the poor. Uh, what did barracks for the poor give? Yeah, industry bonus. Public fishing jetties for food. Nice. Okay. Uh, I did notice, actually, yeah, so here is the army that appeared. The, uh, the army of looters up here in the north by Jin Chang. Um, this is gonna make me, yeah, we're gonna take this force, and we are actually gonna divert them, uh, up towards Jin Chang. 
Uh, they we definitely need them up there um, for the defense of the city. So yeah, are they? And they are in march mode. So they are moving as far as they can possibly go right now. Uh, this army, let's just do the quick little deal of taking the city. Should just be able to walk straight in. Take the city back. Okay, great. We took the city back, and yeah, so we have only the, um... Uh, we do actually have to build, literally build a city here. So we will build a city here, and then uh, I will probably build a garrison as well. Um, but it is just worth it to... We finally took that. Um... Yeah, this army in the south. I guess we should just continue this army then, marching north. Uh, who has... I think he was the leader, right? Because he does have... Um, one commanding plus five military supplies. Um, it's actually his only one commanding bonus that he has. Uh, what about Quang Shao? Does he have any one commanding bonuses? It's a minister commander I saw. No, he has no one commanding bonuses. So yeah, you will go back to commanding. Um, grudge against the Anshu. That's fine. Devoted student. I like that. Alright, two turns left of Wounded in Battle. But uh, this army... Uh, yeah, we can continue marching north. We'll probably go toward Baxi, because I do have um, I do have here the Toolmaker in Baxi, uh, and that's also who I'm at war with up here. So why don't we get this army... Uh, we'll get them in the march mode, move them as quickly as possible over here towards Baxi. Uh, keep them marching north. And let's go ahead and let's see who this j j person is who declared war on me. Um, with Tao Ying, uh, I can't see their provinces anywhere, so kind of far away. They're at war with a bunch of factions. Um, they also have ally. They're also allied with a bunch of factions: the Liu Bei, Kong Rong. You know, pretty. So they're probably in this region somewhere because that Liu Bei is over here. So is Kong Rong. Um, will be short. Yeah, I don't know why they particularly want war with me. But, uh, that is not, that's fine. I mean, they're not anywhere nearby. I just think I'm gonna, you know, my armies are now really spread away from my front line on this border. And if I have armies start coming in this direction, I would, I definitely need an army over there. Let's see. Anyone want peace? The Han Empire does. Uh, Liu Yan does, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him, and none of the others do. What is offer to cooperate? Become their vassal? No. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Um, cool. So yeah, my armies are, you know, pretty... Uh, they've already all moved, um, so nothing too crazy left to do over there. I mean, I, again, I, I really, whoops, wrong button. I really could use, like, an additional candidate. Uh, I really could use, you know, somebody to, uh, start up an additional army with, um, but yeah, anyway, we want, uh, assignments, um, oh, Tan Yu has one turn until he's available for assignments again. Okay, that's fine. So next turn we'll have an additional assignment slot. Uh, that we can, um, we can use. Uh, he Dong, uh, and E, yeah, so again, we could do, like, pretty, you know, small, um, upgrade, but it would take four turns. And Ding, what can we upgrade here? We could upgrade some income from peasantry and a little bit of food, but that takes a lot of time. We'll just kind of get like, Woodoo, what can we build? It's a pretty quick one for a bit more income from industry. Um, as well as an additional commerce income bonus. So yeah, we'll do that. I like that building. Uh, up here in Jincheng. Yeah, we're just gonna... I mean, we have a pretty... Somewhat of a garrison there. But not, not a garrison that's gonna stand up to that army. Um, I would really prefer not to lose the city. Um, with 13 left, what do we have that we could possibly upgrade? We could do Peinzhong. We could do Hidong. Um, let's check out Hidong. Oh, wait. That's, that's what we were looking at before here. Yeah, I mean, I just don't really see how I'm going to be able to fix the public order issue here, as you know, without building a building specifically for it. Um, yeah, this would upgrade my industry income by another hundred. That gives it more of a more of an overall bonus, I think. And then the Hanjong has the ability to build something here. We got the public order income from commerce building here. Uh, public order is good. How's the income? I mean, commerce is a pretty negligible. Um, Income for the city. I think we're going to do the building in Hidong. Keep that one going. And, uh, yeah, so that's a quick turn. But, um, I think we, we pretty much did what we wanted to do. So let's just go ahead and move to the next one and, and keep this, uh, keep this rolling. Oh, 
hopefully no more surprise wars against me. That would be, uh, that'd be nice. Nothing yet. What about the looters? What are the looters going to do? They should be coming up. Ah, no movement from the looters. Okay. Cao Cao and Liu Yao signed peace. Sun Si requested Han Empire join their war against Liu Biao. Dong Pei Shan and Yan Shao are at peace, and Cao Cao are at peace. Coalition became a military alliance. Dong Pei Shan and Wang Quan. Alliance formed between, between them. Yeah, okay. Uh, a lot going on there. That's, that's fine. Supplies destroyed. Minus 5% replenishment and minus 15 military supplies from sabotage. Huh. I'm just reading this really quickly. You could pause and read too if you would like. Um, that, that affected Zhu He. Uh, I mean, that's not... 11 turns is a lot of time, but that's not like the worst thing to happen. Um, I just don't know who did that. Buildings, we got Scholar's Lodge done. So that will keep speeding up our research rate. Yeah, so this force here is going to have minus 5% replenishment. Um, this force, actually, this could be the solution to our problem here of having an army on this border. Um, I think, I mean, you know, I would love to bring in the Animal Tamer. I just, again, like, it's going to be really hard to defend uh, against looters. I mean, I'm already moving like, two armies now to, you know, go address looters, right? Um, kind of annoying. Remain supple. This force, I don't know if it's in reinforcement forces. Uh, speed in the city. Uh, it looks awfully close. I'm afraid this force is going to attack the city, and I'm not going to be in reinforcement range. Which means I'm going to have to take the city back. And they might lower the city level. Which would be horrible, because that would get rid of one of my building slots. Um, this force, yeah, I think for two turns, let's leave you here. Um... I don't see, you know, if I needed to move them, like if I if I took this army here and I, I put them in force march, I needed to move them like over here. You know, we could get there in in two turns, three turns. Um, so I think maybe for this turn they can they can hang inside the city. Uh, and let's see what we have with regard to uh, the assignments. Uh, what options does Tan Yu offer? He offers grants full visibility over a county and the surrounding areas, um, and also minus ten public order. That's, those are terrible. Um, no, it's gotta, he's gotta have some positive ones. Yeah, okay. Was that, is it because I, I had Liu Yang selected? Which, oh, I don't own the settlement, that's why. So that was like his offensive assignments. Uh, normal assignments is construction cost and construction time, food production, income from commerce and income from industry, and uh, starting rank for new recruits. I mean, we'll do the surplus markets. Um... Income from commerce and income from industry. The question is, where's the best one to do that? Uh, commerce and industry income in Hidong is super high. Um, that's just commerce. Commerce and industry income in Jingzhou is also very high. 581 and 1.1. 500. I mean, let's just let's just put them in Hidong and, and be done with it. Um, yeah, you can go in here. I want you to do your um, income from commerce and income from industry assignments yeah and you can do that there and that will you know significantly increase the income uh in the settlement uh yeah i, I would love to raise an additional army um but just i, I just need an, i need another person uh i mean quite you know frankly i just need another i need another general um yeah we have this one reach ascended will give me a new character but that's not really helpful encampment for it will give me eight thousand and yeah, rally noble sympathizers. I'm researching that right now. Where the encampment forts? I mean, how close am I to that? Wasn't I doing that over here? Um, I mean, one of these provinces. Ah, encampment fort. Yeah. So we're actually gonna do that one turn to that because that'll give me eight thousand next turn. So we'll do that. Get that building going, and that'll be what we spend our money on this turn. And can we build anything else? Uh, yeah, we can actually build here, which just gives more bonus to income from industry. Um, which is fine, I guess. I guess I was banking on, I thought the lumber yard would give me industry income, but it's actually giving me a uh, peasantry income. So I built this city as a industry settlement. Um, I built this city as an industry settlement, but it's, it's actually 
it's actually not. It's it's a peasantry uh, settlement. So I'm you know I'm almost thinking, do I want to you know do something like a farmer housing? You know, I could build up peasantry and food production here. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Okay, that's fine. And then, yeah, Jihi can build something. We got uh, our income from peasantry uh, boosted up, which, yeah, which I guess is fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll just hit that. We're getting a lot of money next turn, so we may as well. Um, yeah, okay, so let's do armies. This army, yeah, we, this army needs to continue moving. Um, we could make our way up again towards the pass, as we planned with our other force. We're going to be moving on this settlement over here. Baxi. Um... So next turn, we could maybe take the Jiangmeng Pass. Um, and our other armies are in the position where I, I particularly want them this turn. Uh, again, I'm just, uh, I don't want to, like, just keep retaking and losing the city, you know, but uh, this is so annoying. I, I think I thought a while ago about maybe building a a uh, position in Jingcheng, like a garrison, but I didn't do it. Um, we'll see if that bites me in the rear. Let's see what happens. All right. All right. Anything surprising from these people I'm at war with? No, no troop movements that I can see. Um, all right, here we go. Here's looters coming up. Okay, the looters uh, have decided to attack my army, not the city. Thank God. This should be a a battle that I can win pretty easily here. All right. So yeah, we got our force. Let's gather our generals together. Uh, we are on the defensive, so, you know, we don't need to play super aggressive here. Um, let's take our front line. We're going to actually back it up and lengthen it out a little bit. Alright, archers positioned behind our front. Off fire will mode, and yeah, we don't need fire arrows for this one, I don't think. Our front line will be grouped... Oops, sorry, got a little hiccups there for a second. And then our three units of anti-missile cav. I'm going to see if I can't sneak them up into this forest really quick here at the start of the fight. Uh, we do have some deployables, so why don't we... Yeah, we'll position our tower. Um, why don't we have anti-cavalry spikes guarding one flank? And, I mean, we might as well put the boiling oil out there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and let's start the battle. Let's see if I can't sneak these guys. They are currently hidden... We're going to try to sneak them up here into this uh, thicket and use them to flank around the side of the enemy force. Now, would anyone potentially want to duel here? Character cannot duel. Okay, so they have no dueling capabilities. So generals, you can kind of actually come back towards the front lines. Um, I think my cavalry was actually visible for a split second there, um, which is unfortunate. But now they're hidden again. So we'll see how the AI uh, approaches that. Uh, their cavalry has no ranged block. Uh, they do have a lot of archers and very minimal infantry. Uh, looks like their cavalry did see me, and they're coming to try to flush me out uh, in the forest. No, they retreated. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how they, how they maneuver, knowing that I was there for a second. Look at this. It's all archers, all ranged. Yeah, their cavalry... Has an idea where I was. We're gonna we're gonna back up. We're gonna pull back, and let's bring my generals to this side of the line as well, please. All right, we're gonna actually get caught here in a cavalry fight. Generals, please come join. Arrow tower. I don't know. Fire whoever the heck you want. Alright, that was not what I intended to do with the cav. They got spotted and uh, they got they, the other cavalry was definitely faster. But we're going to get my generals in here to come help out. That's fine. They uh, they should be okay here. Okay, why don't we have one general go for one side and one general go for the other. Uh, we have our melee evasion bonus that we can give. And let's uh, let's go ahead and we're jumping in this fray. Use your special attacks please. And let's, let's dispense of the uh, enemy cavalry here. Take heed, 
now as one force with the generals. The rest of their force is approaching towards my lines. My archers should um, open fire any second now. They have some crossbowmen with some very good range firing in on me. That's okay. Uh, there go my archers returning fire against all these units that really don't have any range block chance. And uh, yeah, they should they should start dropping pretty quickly due to archer fire. Um, we're still in a bit of a slog here with the generals. Yeah, this Jan Sword Guard cavalry is a seems to be a pretty pretty good cav unit. Uh, yeah, one unit of archers is already running there from the enemies. I mean, once we dispense of this cavalry, we'll, we'll just use my generals and the uh, the other cav here. So there we go. They routed. Let's go take out the crossbows. Actually, let's go this way. Go take out the men in the back. Generals units, why don't you go after those other crossbows over there? And yeah, the three cav themselves. You guys can go after those guys. They do have cavalry. Alright, generals, turn around. Let's go take out that cavalry. One of you horse units, please peel out and go take uh go take out that unit. The other one, go take out that unit. My generals will take care of this cav. Yeah, their troops are just, they're unable to get to the front line. They're, they're just getting hit by, uh, hit by range uh, and routing, um, which isn't ideal because, you know, I would prefer if, if possible to, uh, you know, really kill a bunch of these troops, but this battle kind of got really spread out, uh, spread out here. My, my generals will be able to do fine against those guys. This, these cavalry units, come on, you should be able to take out these archers here. Archers and crossbows. You guys, please go recapture the tower. Our victory grows ever closer. Oh, I set the, the fire on fire. Yeah, go take out those Jan swords. There we go. All right, cavalry, why don't you just chase down your respective units and make sure that you kill as many of them as possible? All right, you three, yeah, come on, help them. We can we can get men to. Uh, we can get men to advance now. Yeah, we should have probably done that earlier. There we go. Generals now are doing their thing. Yeah, use your specials, please. That should be a quick, uh... Yeah, quick taken out of the group. You go after their general. Let's take him out. You, sir, your job is going to be this unit, having spear guards. And yeah, we got infantry now just all uh, all advancing out on these enemy units. Infantry should be coming to help the cavalry any second now here on these crossbowmen, which are surprisingly strong in melee combat but against cav, but won't be able to hold up. Um, yeah, won't be able to hold up against... Uh, you know, legitimate infantry. We got 18 archers left there. Why don't we use the cav here to go take out some uh, larger units? Yeah, you guys can. Oh, you got cavalry on you. All right, you're gonna have to fight that cav. Can we take out this general already? Come on. There we go. Stay on them. Yeah, this general is uh, is surviving. We should be able to take him out in a second here. We'll move the speed up a little bit. Is he faster than me? Alright, he's faster than me. That's fine. We can... Let's go after the crossbows. You guys came back in. Go after the a little bit of archers there. Alright, general. Cross... Yeah, cross... These guys are coming on. Let's just route these guys once and for all, please. Come on, there we go. Routed. Go after the crossbows. This general still fighting these heavy spears. I'm surprised they haven't uh, haven't ran yet. Down to 51 of them. Yeah, I'm gonna use my general to really. We're gonna really take out uh, as many of these crossbows as possible here. Did he lose his horse? No, he's on his horse. All right, we're gonna really take out those guys. These guys are pretty much on the border. Who can we use them to take out? We got 14 Lance Cav. No way they're going to get them. 16 Archers. 60 Archers. Let's go after the 60, please, if you can get there in time. 
might be kind of tight. Looks like the edge of the map is basically the water. They're going to go escape in the water. That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, most of these crossbowmen have been taken out, which is great. Two archers left there. 19 there. Not really going to get to those. Yeah, why don't you go after this full 116 unit of, uh, of archers? Uh, you stay on the spear guards. Did we catch them? Not yet, but we're getting close. They're getting close, too, to the edge here. Let's see if we get them here in time. Like cavalry running across the beaches. Come on. Cool scenery. Gotta give it that. I don't... I think we're just barely not gonna get there in time. Yeah. That's too bad. Both units are gonna make it out. Alright. No big deal. We got our general over here, taking out what was a, basically a full unit of archers. Knocking them out. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much... Once this unit's done, then we will end the, uh... Yeah, we will end the battle once this once this is done. All right, good fight, good fight. All right, let's. I don't think I um, fully routed this army. I think they're still gonna be alive. Yeah, they got two eighty nine left, but uh, we are gonna get a nice four forty four. Um, oh, and their general, we captured him. Uh, he has nothing of value to steal, and he's not very good. So we'll take the eight hundred income. Um, 6% replenishment might be nice, but I am in friendly territory. Uh, and really just my cavalry took losses, so I'll take the money as well. Um, let's see where this army moves to. Oh, the, no way they're fully... No way they're fully defeated, right? With 289 left? Um, alright, Gongdu. Yes, alright, we got the encampment fort, which gave us 8k. Axe of Warship. Uh, teaches us the world is in perpetual chaos. Okay, anyway, we gotta bless our generals. Which gives plus 15 morale. Uh, sing songs, plus 10 public order in the local commandery. Good harvest, plus 10% food production, or just 400. Well, why don't we take the public order bonus? We might need that when we move into this new territory up here. It'll it'll help. Uh, we got character gains to rank. Gong do gains rank. Nice. Um, construction complete, encampment forts, and labor family houses. We also got a barracks for the poor. Um, right, this was demolished because I was thinking of moving in here with a, um, with a peasantry building to accompany the Pine Lumber Yard, which is mainly peasantry. And this gives base income from peasantry as, as well as a little bit of food, and this gives population growth. Um, why, why don't we do just the, the base, base one there? Uh, we also have friends, he and Juhi, and ancillaries gained a stone monkey. All right. Uh, first and foremost, let's upgrade Remains Gong Du, who gained rank, and I mean, this guy is just, he's incredible, um, at this point, uh, as a general. So what do we have as options here? Well, first of all, let's start with this one. Let's go left to right. We get charge speed for his own retinue, which will lead to, uh, ranged armor-piercing damage and ranged firing rate when commanding. That's a pretty good one, but that we can also get there by doing this, which gives grill deployment and night battles, um, as well as with some resolve and cunning. That gives instinct. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have any ranged units in his retinue. Um, but this is ranged armor piercing damage for own army. The whole army. And fire rate when commanding. Now, that's one I really want to get to. Alright, we also have defiance, which gives resolve and instinct. Armor for his own retinue. And military supplies in enemy care territory while commanding. That's a very good one. Um, and we have focus, which gives uh, own retinue armor pierce, ranged armor piercing damage and ranged damage. And it's a little bit of income from industry faction-wise. So he doesn't have any uh, archers in his own retinue, so that's not crazy important. Um, I'm thinking I want to target precision, and I'm thinking the charge speed one is, is probably better than... I mean, grill deployment and night battles actually could be really nice, and that also feeds both directions. So actually, now that I think about it, we're going we're gonna to do grill deployment and night battles. Um, and then, yeah, we can target precision for when he inevitably upgrades again. Although, that's going to be quite a while. He, he's, he's at 141,000 experience, he needs to get to 206. So, uh, that is going to take uh, that is going to take a hot sec. And I don't know, I, I'm looking at these now, I don't know why I have a administered commandery on him. We need a, like, yeah, when it's a Lord of Virtue or a faction leader, um, like, plus 10% character experience, uh, trade influence. Yeah, see, there's, we can give him this plus 10% character experience one, um, which is good. 
And then, yeah, he's got the Corruption uh, book as well. Okay. Uh, why don't we just look, take a quick look at this army? Yeah. I mean, reserves. I mean, is there something better we could probably maybe give him here? Um, this one might be better for... Hmm. This one might be a little bit better for, uh, you know, being a general. Than, you know, administered commander because he's not an administrator anymore. Alright. We'll think about that another time. We did save our city. Uh, we'll march with this army since it's right here now. Uh, north to go and retake the, uh... Yeah, we'll go and retake the enemy lands. But, uh, actually first, I want replenishment. So we'll go normal, uh, normal pace walking. And, uh, we'll, we'll march up here and get some replenishment on the way. Uh, 34% replenishment's a nice rate. And, um... Yeah, so we did get a looter's army appear over here as well. They are taking attrition. Um... Which makes me, you know, think I, I maybe I, I was going to go out and attack them. But if they're taking attrition, you know, I could let them take another turn of attrition and come and hit me. Uh, and if they want to come and attack me in the city, I mean, that's fine. I'll, I'll be on the defense. Um, I won't have a garrison yet. Maybe I, maybe I go out and, and I just take them out. Hmm. Now we'll play the attrition game on them. No, we'll play the attrition game. And actually, I would prefer not to... Maybe instead of having the attack be on the city, maybe I move them out here, and maybe I encamp, and, um... Hmm. Recruitment and replenishment enabled. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I can... Or maybe I set an ambush? For them? Nah, let's just... We'll set up an encampment right outside our settlement here. My aim is precise. Alright. And uh, we do have an upgrade here as well. Zhu Zhong has upgraded. Oh, we got a lot of options here. We could give him... He's got an infantry and cav. We could give him armor and military supplies when commanding. Food production for Mr. Commandery. Charge bonus. That's a good one. Uh, guerrilla deployment night battles. But that's just... Uh, yeah, that's this army. That actually works. Knowledge of the spirit. Uh, this is a heal attack. Or heal mount. Yeah, we'll give the fury. Alright. Nice. I'm a bit worried. Did I mess up? Like, if they walk around me... They can't walk around me and attack the city. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm blocking the path to the city. That was that was the goal. Um, that was the goal there. And, yeah, no candidates still. We just are not getting any candidates of people who want to come and be a part of our faction, huh? Um, we do have money, so maybe we go and we take the Jiangmeng Pass. Uh, we could establish order there. It's going to cost 8,000? No, no. For a pass? Sorry, that's not worth it. Um, it's just not worth it. We're just going to march through and uh, make our way towards the enemy. 8,000. I thought it was going to be 4. 8,000 is just too much for that, uh, frankly. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that is not worth it to me. Um, Alright, so let's take a look through some of these settlements. Yeah, Wudu, we finally have money to, like, really do some upgrades somewhere. And you can see a lot of these settlements now are getting public order um, negative effects from population. Now that I finally have population growth that's accumulated over the course of tons of turns. Um, and that's okay. It just means that, we're, you know, we're going to need to, like, kind of figure out, maybe start building some public order focus buildings in, in some of these locations. Um, yeah, I don't, I can't build the next size of the city that uh, of that that's fine like you know some of these like buildings that that provide public order are, are definitely good ones you know counteracting the negative from public uh uh from population growth um but here yeah we got a, it's a ton of industry i mean we could up uh, our industry and commerce income you know with the next level of this building which is actually pretty cheap um you know we could add another 800 industry income we could add some more commerce income uh, i mean we could upgrade the city to the next level and which would unlock, uh, not, uh, actually not another building slot. Um, yeah, without the other building slot, I don't think that's really worth it yet. Let's go ahead and let's do the next, we'll do the figurine carving workshop. Uh, Jin Chang. Jin Chang, I am very tempted to add a building slot to, because I would love to build a garrison here. Um, build a garrison just to be able to defend against looters without having to keep an army maybe in the region. Um, so why don't we upgrade the city there. And, uh, yeah, and Ding, what can we upgrade? 
We did more food production and food from peasantry. We can upgrade the mine. Jihi. It's already upgraded building, yeah, but I can upgrade another building here. Um, again, we could upgrade that to the next level city, or we could just keep upgrading food production there. We could upgrade to the next level research rates. Building Hidong. Yeah, I mean, we could give, for 940, we could give another 100 industry income. Uh, yeah, we are, you know, we're, we're making our way through these settlements pretty quickly, but that's just uh, Hanzhong. We got a couple options. Yeah, we could upgrade the industry again. Yeah, I might do this one. Pretty cheap, and it only takes one turn. Let's, let's take a look at what other options. I mean, passes, I don't really care about. Luo Yang, not really worth it. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we'll do the one in Hanzhong then. Go ahead, and yeah, I think maybe we'll save about 2,000 to carry over to the next turn. That was a lot of building that we just initiated. You can see how many how many settlements are building, or how many commanderies are building buildings now. Uh, some multiple buildings. Um, cool. Yeah, and by the way, I think we do, yeah, we have the assignment now active again here, uh, so we're making a ton of money in that province. And yeah, nice turn. I really just, I really need more generals. Uh, I mean, I have the finances to, you know, uh, to be able to afford them. I, I, what I That would be hugely, hugely useful. Um, but we'll move on to the next turn. It's fine. Someone could appear for me to hire. I would love it. You'd be a general in my army. Let's see what happens. All right. Anything? Nothing crazy. What about looters? All right. Looters didn't attack me. Um, maybe they launched into the river. All right. We got a couple of diplomacy things. What? What? Are you serious? They went, it said they, they went into the river and then mo moved around? Oh my god, I royally, I royally messed up there. I tried to get all cheeky, I tried to, ah, uh, thought I was being smart with the, um, with the encampment. I thought I was blocking their range. I, I thought I was going to block their ability to, uh, their ability to move. Um, at my city, and I, they, I don't understand how they were able to go in the water. When I move in the water, that like takes my entire turn. Somehow they were able to move in the water and around. These looters are a huge, huge pain. Um, but what we can do now is we can starve them out. Um, we're not in a rush. Um, although, we are losing supplies at a rapid rate, but we can wait at least one turn um, there. So we'll do that. This force... Yeah, now that we're going to be... Le See, look at this. Like, look, why can't I only move this little amount here? Makes no sense. Ready yourselves. Marching. This force. I mean, I don't even know if it's worth really going and capturing Wu Wei. I, I honestly, I might just... I might just commit to... Now that I already moved, um, which is kind of annoying, but I might just commit to this region up here, just kind of being lost to looters forever. Um, I'll build, you know, here in Jinchang, I'll build a good garrison, maybe we get a small force to accompany the garrison, like a one general army eventually. Um, I do want to keep this over here. Um, but yeah, I think, I, I just think it's going to be such a pain. Look at what the looters have been constantly doing up here. Still no candidates. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to kind of ignore that. Alright, you guys, uh, we are going to prepare to move into enemy territory. Uh, I can't get a line of sight on Baxi, unfortunately. Um, if I move into Force March, why can I not move it all at the settlement? Yeah, I, I have no idea what's going on there. Um, like, see how this little river is going to cost me a whole turn, but they were able to go into the river and around my army and, and take the city all the same turn, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, Alright. Yeah, we can do a lot of buildings. I must have, something must have happened where I, yeah, I unlocked the ability to do two buildings at once in settlements and I just didn't, just didn't realize. Um, hmm. And Zhang. Yeah, I don't think we need more public order. I mean, the commerce income's nice, but, you know. Not wholly necessary. 
I'm just kind of looking for like the ability to do maybe some small economically beneficial buildings, but it seems like I've kind of used my lot of those. Um, yeah, Shu Fang we're going to hold on to. Why don't we actually build the tribal horse trainers? Let's just get that going. Uh, I'm saving my money because I really want to be able to build up a force um, ra relatively quickly. I just It's been such a pain. I haven't really been able to. Uh, all right, we do have a couple people who want peace. Uh, Wang Quang, who, again, <laughs> great name, uh, who I have, like, uh, this down here somewhere, uh, wants peace finally. And, it, and, you know, honestly, I will, I mean, I'll do that because I really would like to have less, I mean, I have no interest in expanding in that direction right now, so um, there's no point in being at war with them. Um, I mean, will they even, like, pay me at all? They, I mean, they literally won't pay me anything, huh? I mean, nothing that's worthwhile. Um, their food is relatively pretty equal. I might add in, like, kind of a BS ancillary on top of this. Like, we can add that. I'm never going to use that. That's pretty bad. Yeah. And maybe, like, a... Yeah, like this herdsman, like pretty bad. We'll confirm. Like they'll they'll want they'll want those guys for a little bit, and then we can request a regular payment from them. Now, oh whoa, that jumped up really quickly from uh, yeah, from about one eleven to like the one thirty. So why don't we leave this at maybe like no? See, that's not worth it. That jumped up so much. We'll leave this at like one ten, and then request a flat payment on top of it. See if I can't get like 290 out of them. Oh, I can. All right, 295, even 299. All right, so let's try like 305. All right, that's where their cutoff is. Let's find their cutoff. Wow, is it literally 300 on the dot? No, it is literally 299 on the dot. All right. Yeah, I don't need those ancillaries. So peace for a good amount of money basically uh, works for me. Deal signed. Well. Cool. Anyone else want peace? No one I want peace with. Uh, these guys don't. Um, Zhang Yan it, like, basically does. Um, and again, he's over there. I have no interest in fighting a war with someone who's on the other side of enemy territory, you know, uh, another faction's territory. Um, it's just, frankly, you know, it's not worth, like, going over territory to go fight them. The only thing that can happen is them actually sending um, an army at me. Uh, so I would like to mitigate that chance. Um if possible, and we will just do a little bit, I'll give you two food for ten turns, you give me 62, done, proposed deal, end of that, alright, so we are at war with less people now, um, which I think is a good thing, and yeah, glad I checked that, a couple, couple little bit of diplomacy done, that just, you know, it was like country here, and it was like this whole border here, I mean, why do I need to be at war with them, you know, I, I don't even border them. Um, it, all, all it could possibly do is make me have to rush an army down south. Um, not worth it. So, armies have moved. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna save some of this money I have left over. I am tempted to upgrade Wudu. I really am. I just don't, I, I, I'm not gonna do it yet. Um, so why don't we move to the next turn and see if anything particularly surprising happens here. All right, nothing crazy yet. See if the looters sally out against me. Should be coming up. They are sallying out against me, which is great. Yeah, we'll start that battle. All right, so again, like, I'm on the defensive here, so I can use the terrain to my advantage. Looks like we got a bit of a hill here. We also have a bit of a hill behind this initial hill. If I put archers up here, their range would reach the other hill, which means the enemy range would reach me as well. So I'm not going to do that. Let's let, let's take our archers here. Do these guys have better range or something? No, range is still 200. They're just different. Men of the forest versus normal yellow turban archers. Um, so yeah, we got a very large amount of archer force. Right, this is our archer force here. So we're going to position them on the top of the hills. Um, this is our infantry force you can group together. And then, yeah, we're going to keep generals... Oh, whoops. 
We're going to keep generals and cav groups together. What do my generals have here? This guy has melee attack rate passive buff. We have a splash damage active buff. Okay. So you guys, group two. Whoa. Oh, archers are included in that. No, oh my gosh, this is all over the place right now. You guys, group together. Alright, they'll be in the front. Start battle. I didn't use my deployables. I completely forgot. That's annoying. Um, Alright, force. We're going to need a long line here. So why don't you all advance forward. Um, they got, yeah, they got crossbow. They got more infantry than I do, and definitely superior cav. They also have three crossbows as their ranged units. So the ranged units have a range advantage over mine. Um, but they all have no range. And then their units here are like... Their front line, their center front line has no range block chance. Their flanks do. So we'll get my forces into position. Yeah, we will have, hopefully, what is an overwhelming archer fire. And let's go, and let's go and meet their uh, cavalry in the field. It'd be nice to take those guys out. And, yeah, if I have the cavalry advantage in this battle, that would be very, very nice indeed. So that's what we're going to push for here. And their general does not want a duel. I love this, uh, I love this shit talk between the, uh, the two generals. It's such a great aspect of this game. Uh, we're going to push forward. Their men should start coming in range of my archers any second now. Yeah, you can see the hail of shots coming in now. Um, Alright, our cavalry is attacking. We'll use our splash damage attack here. Yeah, we're going to try to knock out their cab ASAP, especially this good, really good cab. Um, mounted archers, let's try to take those guys out. And yeah, here, front lines are they're pushing in. My archers are all firing at them. And yeah, we're going to go take out their range. So we're going to have the range advantage here, which is exactly what I was hoping for. You men, guard mode. So I don't want you chasing after their troops after engaging. And let's try to knock out these heavy crossbows, get them out of this fight. Look, the enemy there we go. One's routed. Move on to the next, please. Alright, front lines have engaged. Move some of these men out. Yeah, my archers should all still be firing. There we go. Rest of this front line. Yeah, you guys can just all be in position. We'll try to roll down the flank a little bit. How's this archer unit? That crossbow unit routed. Cavalry, why don't you pull back? Go take out those uh, those crossbowmen. Generals, on the other hand, we're going to separate you out. And let's go help the... Uh, let's go take out their general. These two units are now free. Let's go keep moving down that front line. There we go. Our, my archers are just putting on a devastating attack on them right now. Swordsmen, please move in. You, sirs, go ahead and move in as well. Hit them from behind. My generals. Yeah, my generals, I want you chasing their general, please. Yeah, cavalry, you can take out. You can you can attack the axe bands. That's fine. All these guys are going to be fighting together again here. Why don't we tear at the axe bands first, and then we'll go after their sentinel general. How's my front line doing? Alright, it's just a big infantry slog, but that's, I mean, that's going to be how it is. Yeah, these guys taking heavy fire. Archers are going to be dominant, should be dominant here with their fire. There we go, they're routed. Let's go take out the sentinel now. Yeah, front line, we have the advantage for sure. Just a nice melee here in the front line. Alright, cavalry, we can come in and now help the front. Uh, let's, let's just keep actually, let's just keep wiping out these troops back here while we're here. Might as well hit them. They're already wavering, so shouldn't take much longer to uh, knock them out of this fight with some good cavalry charges. There we go. They're out. Let's go hit the mounted. Those guys are routing. Alright, yeah, we'll be able to... My generals, please keep on their general. My cavalry... Why don't you come in and go hit those axe bands? Let's go. Let's go help out the front line here. Alright, come on. Six point nine. Can we take him out? Now he's gonna he's gonna outrun us. Why don't we go chase down their mounted archers? He's already he's rowdy, and that's good enough. 
Alright, this unit is now not engaged anymore. They're the unit they were fighting routed. So let's push forward and hit these guys from the side. Archers are going to be taking them out. Yeah, go, let's take out these mounted archers already. They shouldn't last much longer. There we go. Generals, go how about this, that flank. Cavalry, go how about that flank. Alright, this whole flank of men has routed. You guys can all go join the fray. Yeah, with the cavalry coming in now, this should be a... Uh, these guys shouldn't last much longer. Yeah, infantry held out long enough. Now reinforcements have arrived. Hitting them from the rear. Why don't you go hit their general? Oh, both my unit broke right as their unit broke there, actually. Wow. Yeah, go take... Ah, oh, the general routed. Alright, everyone's routing. Victory. Yeah, let's go on the heavy repeating crossbowmen. Why don't you take them out? Axe band, why don't you take them out? And, uh... This unit... Stay on the spear guards, please. Alright, we can speed this up. Doing some rowdy, router control here. Your men have no ammunition. They cannot yeah, those archer, the archer fire was was absolutely overwhelming. That was uh, that was really really cool, really well done. Uh, good to see the uh, the captain doing their job. Go after the further crossbowmen, please. Cavalry, how you doing on those spear guards? Twenty six left. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll use the cab to go take out the rest of these guys. Uh, he didn't catch them in time. All right, go ahead and turn on them. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Oh, sorry, I saw the other unit disappear. I thought he didn't get him in time. But he did indeed. How's the other general doing? Zhu Zhong? Yeah, you're doing your thing too. Alright, you, you can keep going for a sec there. These guys have almost made it to the edge. Alright, go take out them. Zhu Zhong's force. Go take out them. Cavalry. Why don't one unit go after the G Infantry Captain? And the other unit, yeah, just go after the heavy G's. Those guys actually really did route all the way out, huh? Crazy. Didn't think they would do that. Alright, there, yeah, those guys are finishing off. Finishing off. Alright. Shouldn't be too much longer here. Just continuing to take out these final routers. And you know what? Yeah, we'll just claim victory. That's fine. Alright, so does that give me the city back, or is that just the battle? Wang Chu. Rather, really? See, why wouldn't this guy should just join my cause? He's so nice. I mean, he doesn't have the best stats, but I just... Yeah, we're gonna execute him. Took some good damage there. But, 817 income is a, is a lot to pass up on. They know not their folly. Alright, Dong Peishan and Yao Ting have signed a free treaty. Gao Gan is dis faction destroyed. Buildings, a lot of buildings, and look at that, we're making 3,900 a turn now. We are doing great. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, people of virtue! Kui Shin, Kui Zin. Uh, you are a Yellow Turban Rebellion officer. Would you wants to come join me? Awesome. Uh, you are composed, expertise in cunning, uh, intrepid, immune to fear and terror. Fear and terror. With a little bit of expertise, and expertise in cunning, um, fatigue resistance. Okay. Uh, no really good... Yeah, no really good attributes, but we're gonna recruit you anyway, we need you. Alright, welcome to the cause, we got another general, sweet. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna lose a lot of, um, supplies this turn, if we go down to zero supplies if we don't take the settlement. So we're gonna attack the settlement. It'll be a decisive victory. Should be, it's just the remnants of the force from, you know, the last battle, so. Be should fluid, be nice and easy. Friends. All right. Um, all right, towers right in front of me are destroyed, so. Yeah, nice, easy. Uh, no, wait, there are, it's just, yeah, there's no, yeah, nice, easy fight straight into the city center. Um. All right, looks like they're actually pushing out towards me. So why don't we set up a nice archer line. Nice infantry line in front of them. On guard mode, of course. And, I mean, we're literally just going to do the same strategy here as the last battle. And then general and cavalry. On a flank. This force has nothing left. 
Um, I'm just going to use my archers, uh, my, you know, crazy superior firepower with the archers to, uh, you know, basically just wipe them out. So, we'll let them march towards me if that's what they want to do. Alright, archers should open fire any second now. Oh, actually, these guys are, sorry, that's a ranged cavalry unit, so they're going to be firing at me as well. We can go ahead and, we could move in on them. Uh, let's leave the cavalry back. We'll just move in with the generals. Okay, they are just outside my archer range. Alright, move back. Uh, let's take my archer group. They're kind of advancing more from the right. So let's shift my archer group down the line here. And shift the line as well. Oops, wrong group. I sorry, I selected the wrong group right there. I want my archers. And then infantry can spread a bit more. Right, cavalry, let's make your way across the line here at this charging cav. Archers should all be opening fire any second now. Yeah, archers, just why don't you just uh, pause it for a second. Archers, I mean, literally, let's just all fire at these units in front of us, please. Uh, these guys literally will not last more than like a volley or two, so there, there is no, there is truly no need to. Um, not just focus on them. Alright, I'm going to tell you guys to halt, but put you back on fire at will. Please, just fire, yeah, just, just pelt your arrows at all these guys in front. And literally everyone here, take out that general. Alright, infantry line is getting ready for a bit of a slog, but, uh... Yeah, archers are still firing. They're kind of hitting my own men a little bit. She's running. Look, the enemy run. Yeah, all, all the infantry's running. A lot of my archers have some target practice as they're routing here. Archers, if you could just not fire arrows all on top of my own men, that'd be... That'd be real nice. I'm trying to kill her. Take her out. Uh, archers should just be literally taking target practice here on these, on these retreating troops. Yeah, I mean, just just fire at them as they're running away here, guys. Did we get her? Almost. Go, go, go. No, she just made it out. All right. Kind of disappointing. Archer is still just taking target practice here. Yeah, they're just. You can see all the arrows coming in. We'll let this go just for their experience' sake, because um, some of them are really low, like level twos. Until they get out of archer range, and then, uh, yeah, then we won't. You can see all the arrows hitting the ground there, and then we just will uh, go ahead and claim victory. Heaven guided our weapons. All right, good, good, res good uh, return on the finances. I mean, we'll reoccupy the city. No longer will corruption reign. All right, and Sillery's gained. We got a oh composite bow. That's good to have. I like that a lot. Uh, and we killed her. We did kill her in battle. I mean. Disappointing, but for the... Again, let's start the upgrade of this settlement. Um, and yeah, okay, we gotta, I think that's a pretty good place to call to stop this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, we've got a lot going on. we got another general. We can start up another force. Uh, you know, we have finally uh, kind of beaten back the looters a pretty good amount. And uh, we'll continue, you know, figuring out our, our defense against them. So, yeah, if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, you know, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody next time. Have a good one.